ahead. Hello, it's Saturday, April 23, 2016. And we are coming to you from... The Hospital. El Hospital. At Butterworth. I doubt that's how you say it in Spanish. Probably not. B Butterworth Hospital in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep. As you can see, your surgery was successful. By his giant... Giant scar. Scar. It's not a scar yet, my giant incision and is, stables. Yes. Looking a little like Frankenstein at the moment. A little bit. But feeling... Not like Frankenstein. Not like Frankenstein. You know, a massive headache, but it's to be expected with that massive cut down the side of my head. It's true. You want to sleep and I'll finish? Okay. All right. So you can hear me snoring. Sorry. That's okay. We'll be okay with that. Benny just wanted to say hello to everybody and make sure that you saw him. And then I'll do the rest of the update because he's pretty sleepy. Um. So the surgery went really well. Um. The doctor said that Dr. Vitas said that it literally like he could not have scripted a better surgery outcome. Um. Everything was great. Benny did an excellent job. They said he was a total trooper. Um, <laughs> Benny must be the odd 2% of people who do feel and remember during surgery it's because... It hurt. <laughs> what was that? It hurt. Yes. He uh, does recall having pain during the surgery and um, some of the conversations and things like that. Um, so that is somewhat traumatic but he seems to be dealing with it pretty well um the outcome of the surgery they were able to um, remove 95 to 99 percent of the main tumor um, which is named larry and um so that was awesome as when we were going into the surgery they thought that they'd probably only be able to get 75 uh, plus a little bit more um so that was awesome. Um, we will be treating with the remaining um, two spots um, with radiation and chemotherapy. We are meeting with the, um, the tumor board will meet on Wednesday to discuss the final pathology of the tumor. Um, as well as treatment plans. So then we will meet with um, our neurosurgeon as well as the neuro-oncologist and the team um, to talk about what treatment looks like. But we do know that it will be it, it will include both radiation and chemotherapy. Um, just preliminary pathology uh, confirmed what they had thought. It um, is a glioma. Um, grade unknown other than they do know it is a high grade but they don't know if that's a three or a four um, and what type of tumor um, that comes back with um, that will yeah we'll get that on Wednesday we'll find out that information and then that's based on the molecular structure of the tumor then they uh, that's how they, I guess they decide the type of chemo um, or the type of radiation that they're going to go ahead and move forward with. We also find out uh, prognosis, um, what to expect in the future. What we know right now is that Benny, like usual, is a total badass and he is just making so much progress every day. Um, he is up and walking with assistance to and from the bathroom. He is um, feeding himself with his right hand. He walked the floor today. Um, unfortunately, he did it like the one time I've left his side, this whole thing, um, he decided to go for a walk. So I wasn't able to be here for that, but I won't hold it against you. No. Um, so that's awesome. He is more alert than he was yesterday, so he can stay up for about, he's awake for maybe an hour to an hour and a half at a time. He does still have really, really bad headaches, 
Um, our goal is to get off of the um, intravenous medication and just stick with pills. Um, he has to be without IV painkillers for 24 hours prior to um, going to rehab. So it looks like probably tomorrow he will be transferred to the uh, Center for Acute Rehab over at Blodgett Hospital. And um, there he will have all the therapies. So he'll have speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy. It'll be three hours of intensive therapy um, every day. Um, the rest of the time he'll need to rest because that is definitely, um, it'll take it out of him. Um, they think that they'll take approximately two weeks to go through that process, which again is what we were expecting kind of at the get-go. Um, again, that's probably tomorrow that that will happen. Um, a lot of people have asked like what, if he has any deficits, things like that. Um, he still has the left side facial droop, um, slurred speech. Um, that he didn't have that before, but he has that now. Um, and that again could just be the narcotics that he's taking, um, but it could be a, a side effect of the surgery as well, the swelling in the brain. Um, and he still is having, um, he has, still has some issues with the left side. His, his legs are, are really getting to be about equal, um, the use of his legs and his feet. However, his um, left arm has a pretty major deficit um, from the right arm. It is worse than when he went in, but it, once again, he just had major brain surgery. I mean, it's huge. Um, just like with any other part of the body, when you have surgery, there's swelling, and so that could be causing a lot of that too. Plus, it's just major trauma to the brain. So um, with rehab and, um, and intense therapy, those, those sorts of things should come back and he should have function. Um, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, sorry I didn't update you sooner. Things have been pretty crazy. Um, and it looks like, hi Anita. We're good. We're good. Thank you. <laughs> um, it looks like this is really um, just the beginning of a really, really long road for us. Um, road to recovery that's going to include um, some major changes for Benny for our family um, and once again we just really um, can't say thank you enough for all of the support and the love that you all have shown us and um, we ask that you know kind of selfishly continue that because we're going to need it we're going to need a lot of support. We're going to need a lot of love. We're going to need all those prayers that we can get because um, this is going to be one wild ride.